Here is a breakdown of the belly line. Now, I'm going to make them into different types of sashimi. Sushi is vinegar rice with raw fish usually on top. Then sashimi usually means just a slice of raw fish. The main tip here is sharpening your knives. You always want to make sure you have a really good sharp knife and know how you move your knife. You want to utilize the entire stroke. So you're not pressing down. You are actually using the weight of the knife and then you are pulling towards you so that you are just slicing without any force. The thickness should be, when it's tuna, it can be a little bit thicker. When it's other white fish, the thickness should be a little bit on thinner side because smaller white fish have a little bit stronger muscle compared to the bigger fish. So the texture will be chewy if it's cut thick. Also, you should always cut against the grain. So when you eat it, it's not too chewy or too sinewy. And then it actually breaks down much easier. I'm scraping meat off the tail part of the tuna. It has so much more muscle that you can't eat as sashimi otherwise. You can see this preparation in tekamaki, you see in temaki. In the US, a lot of people use this for a spicy tuna with different sauce mixed into it. This is very modern idea of Japanese cuisine. Lastly, I'm going to show how to enjoy the belly by torching. You get completely different flavor and texture when you torch. A mixture of salt and pepper, it's ready to eat. I personally think when meat is oily, it's better to be cooked. It sort of brings out of the fattiness. So when I'm torching, I'm just looking for char and then fat that actually rises. It has a nice smoky flavor which I think tastes better. When it's done, it's called aburi. Here you see the selection of all kinds of sashimi from one belly loin. Normally, we would repeat the same process for the other three loins that are left, but that would be boring for you guys to keep watching. 